hi everyone, hope you're all okay. You did a fantastic job with your questions yesterday, but I've just heard there's been another news report, so we best go and listen in. It's breaking news today, everybody. I'm going to pass to Fred to fill us in more. Thank you, Susan. On Friday afternoon, a young bear called Paddington was caught breaking into Marvel's marmalade factory. When questioned, he explained he'd run out of marmalade. The police are now investigating the matter. More updates later. Now, more on our story from yesterday. We had our junior reporters questioning those at the circus. Full details released tomorrow. Today, we're going to plan a 5W news bulletin. A news bulletin informs us about what's going on either locally or nationally. So it's big news about Leon transporting into the place between and returning again. So we're going to be writing to inform about this. We're going to need to think about our vocabulary today. We're going to think about who we're writing about, where it happened, when, why and what. Let's look at this waggle. A waggle is what a good one looks like. So this is our checkpoint. Can you read it with me? On Friday afternoon, a young bear called Paddington was caught breaking into Marvel's marmalade factory. When questioned, he explained he had run out of marmalade. The police are now investigating the matter. More updates later. In our waggle, I would like you to think about who the news bulletin was written about, where it happened, when it happened, what happened and why. Think about the words used. Have a go. Pause the video now. Let's have a look together. Who was this written about? That's right, a young bear called Paddington. Where did it happen? Marvel's Marmalade Factory. When did it happen? Well done, it happened on Friday afternoon. We can see that it says on Friday afternoon and it's used as a front and adverbial of time. What actually happened then? Well done, Paddington was caught breaking into Marvel's Marmalade Factory. He was breaking into. And why did he do this? Well done. He had done it because he'd run out of marmalade. Let's see if we can use this waggle to help us today. We're going to be writing about the exciting event of Leon travelling to the place between and then returning. This is a my turn. I need to think about who, where, when, what and why. So for who, I've written down a nine-year-old boy called Leon. I didn't just want to write Leon, I wanted to give a little bit more information about him. I'd like you, as our turn, to pause the video and discuss where the event happened, when, what actually happened, and why it happened. Discuss with somebody. Pause the video now. Well done year three. I heard some interesting answers with my good listening ears. Some of you said where. Well we recognised that it was a circus tent but you said that the circus tent could be in Kidderminster. You identified that the circus might have been on at the weekend for our when. So using our ideas I've put them down on the board. So we can see who was a nine-year-old boy called Leon. Where a circus show in Kidderminster. When did it happen? That's right, I put down Saturday evening. What actually happened? Leon was transported to the place between. And why did it happen? I've written down he volunteered because he loves magic and mystery. Now I've written down each part, I'm going to have a go at verbalising a sentence that I could say. So for example, I could start with who. A nine-year-old boy called Leon attended a circus show in Kidderminster where he was transported to the place between on Saturday evening. He volunteered because he loves magic and mystery. 
and explained that the new place he travelled to was incredible. This time, rather than starting with who, I'm going to start with when. Listen carefully. On Saturday evening, a nine-year-old boy called Leon was transported to the place between during a circus show in Kidderminster. He volunteered to enter the box because he loves magic and mystery and said that the show was absolutely incredible. It's time for your turn. If you're chilly one today, I'd like you to verbally rehearse your 5W sentence with the information that we've come up with today. If you're chilly too, I'd like you to complete your own 5W plan. So, for example, you might change when the circus happened. You might change where it happened. Think about your own information. Once you've done that, I'd like you to verbally rehearse with noisy punctuation. If you're chilly three today, I'd like you to have a go at playing around with the order of your 5W sentence means the first time you rehearse your sentence you might choose to start with your when as your opener. The second time you rehearse your sentence you might decide to start with who as your opener. Play around with the order that your 5w sentence can be in and think about which sentence sounds the best. Remember to include your information so that you're being clear to your listener when we give our news bulletin. Pause the video, but remember to come back when you've finished your work. How did you get on, everyone? Right, as our final part to the lesson, I'd like you to think about if this story was going to be published in a newspaper, what snappy headline would you come up with? Perhaps you can include some alliteration, maybe some rhyme. Once you've decided on your headline, I'd like you to write it down in bubble writing really hard in today's lesson I'd like you to make sure that you keep your plan safe so that you've got it ready for tomorrow's lesson. If you haven't already collected an exercise book from school ask your grown-up to collect one for you. Sending your work to the year three email where you can receive your dojo points. A special mention to Joseph for this fantastic piece of work. He's chosen some exciting language and it's clear that he's used his great editing skills. Well done, Joseph.